Hi, I'm Sari Sudekran. In this video, let's talk about low-key lighting. First of all, there's a difference between the meanings of the terms high-key and low-key in photography and cinematography. This video specifically refers to cinematography. And when we use the terms high-key or low-key, we usually use them in relation to film lighting. So you have to be lighting a film set or scene, and that's when you use the words high-key or low-key. Basically, you're looking for the difference in exposures between the subject or the face or whatever is in the foreground and the background. Compared to your subject, the background can either be overexposed or underexposed or roughly in the same exposure zone. When the background is slightly under the uh, subject or roughly equal to the subject, as you can see in the scene, we call it medium. It's neither high key nor low key. Most films tend to fall in this category. When cinematographers keep the background slightly below the main subject, they're signaling that their lighting isn't trying to make a dramatic statement. They're trying to show things as they are. So realistic scenes tend to follow the system. This is neither high key nor low key, just normal. Now when the exposure of the background is higher than the face, that's when you call it high key lighting. For example, I will raise the exposure of the lighting in the background and as you can see, it suddenly appears more cheerful. Also, the shadow side of my face is filled because I have a reflector on as well. This shows a world that is more cheerful, more bright, and you can see everything. Now, it doesn't mean that the shadows are washed out. The blacks are still deep and black. It's just that compared to the main subject, the exposure in the background and all the surrounding areas are much higher, higher key, hence the word high key. The contrast ratio in a high key setup is low as well. If you don't know what a contrast ratio is, check out the video I made on the subject. I'll link to it below. This video specifically refers only to low key lighting. Now, when the background is a lot darker than key, let's say I turn it off. Now you have what is called low key lighting. When the subject is exposed, let's say correctly, whatever the exposure you want it to be, the background is much lower in terms of exposure to the subject that's when you call the scene a low-key scene. Both high-key and low-key are derived from nature, roughly. The sun and moon are both point sources. On a clear day or night, their light casts harsh shadows. The main difference is sunlight is so strong and overwhelming, it's like a tsunami in a bathtub. The light just washes and bounces around everything. So you mostly see a high-key on a bright day. Surprisingly, a full moon does the exact same thing. It too is a point source and the shadows are harsh the intensity is a lot lower, and the main difference is actually our eyes. Our eyes are designed to work well with sunlight, which we see every day. We use cones during the day. Full moon nights are a lot fewer, and we are designed to rest at night, and we use rods in our eyes. This is why the shadows appear to be a lot darker at night. So in a way, you can see how day or night inspires high key or low key lighting. The main takeaway here is it's not the light per se, but the mood that the lighting conveys. For example, here's a trick question. What about low contrast scenes like the one Tarkovsky is famous for? Everything is lit evenly. Is it a high key or a low key scene? Answer, it's neither. It is just a low contrast scene or normal scene. Now, what about the face? What if I turn off the light on my face? Is it a high key scene or a low key scene? The answer is it's neither. It's a silhouette. Now here's another trick question. What if the background is dark as well? Now is this a high key scene? No, obviously not. Is it a low key scene or is it a silhouette? It's not a silhouette because a silhouette demands a brighter background. This is a low key scene. There's a rim light surrounding me so you can differentiate the subject and the background and it's a low key scene. Now the important thing to realize is a scene being high key or low key does not depend on the exposure of the subject but the exposure of the background in relation to the subject. The background is what decides whether a scene is high key or low key. It's not the subject. The subject can be underexposed, overexposed, correctly exposed, doesn't matter. Uh, let's say you have an interrogation scene where the subject is under a spotlight and is overexposed. That's not high key, it's still a low key scene because the background is dark. So always look at the background in deciding what type of key it is, whether it's high key or low key. Here's another question. What about night scenes? Are they high key or low key or normal? They're low key scenes because the background is dark. 
However, because you're shooting at night, there's no need to tell anyone it's a high key or low key scene. We only use these terms high key and low key in relation to film lighting. With night, a dark background is sort of a given. Typically, the background is lower by two or three stops, but that depends on the reflectivity of the background. The same light hitting a brown or white wall will give you different results. So when you're lighting a low key scene, go by what the camera sees, not what your incident meter is telling you. Now to summarize, low key lighting is when the background is a lot darker than the subject or face and is a term you mostly use only when you're lighting a scene. Typically low key lighting is used for moody scenes, but that's not etched in stone. Woody Allen and Tim Burton have made comedies in low key. On the other hand, Jaws is mainly normal to high key, but is a horror movie. Both Marvel and DC are superhero movies. One is normal to high key, while the other is mostly low key. Is the Joker a greater threat than Thanos? No, but DC uses low key as a matter of style. The world Batman lives in is low key, moody, crime filled, almost beyond redemption. The world the Marvel Universe inhabits is more optimistic. See, it's the background that matters. However, it is important not to be formulaic because you want to help the audience really feel the mood. To do that, you must first feel it. That's the takeaway. If you want help lighting your feature film or short film or web series on a low budget, check out my free guide of 25 proven DIY and cheap lighting gear that actually delivers cinematic results. I'll put the link in the description. If you liked this video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Bye now.